Tomer, this is Zion. Harry, what happened? Where have you been so long? Well, I tell you, sweetheart. You see, I was thrown back from the office. I stopped off. Oh, wait. First, I want you to meet my friend. Iona, this is Gomer Pyle, a real gentleman. How you do, ma'am? What did you do to him? Get him drunk? <laughs> what do you mean, no, ma'am? Look at you, both of you. Clothes all messed up, can't stand up straight. Hey, he's got a beautiful voice. Oh, yes, I heard his voice. All the way out in the street, I heard it. And I'll bet the neighbors heard it, too. I don't know how I'm going to look him in the face tomorrow. Ma'am, I don't think you understand. Oh, him. I understand, all right. I know your type. Spend all night in the bar just waiting for some poor soul like Harry to come along so you can sponge on him. Yeah. <laughs> for sale, that's just not true. Oh, Harry. <laughs> I'll get you right to bed. And you get out of here or I'll call the MP. Yeah, the MP. Go on, out, out. And you better stop bothering Harry or I'll take care of you. I don't understand you, Harry. Don't you know better than to get mixed up with these kind of people? Oh, it's you again, huh? You got your hooks in him again, huh? Iona, my little bird, did you wait up for me? Well, I was very thoughtful. I warned you to stay away from Harry, and I meant it. If you think I was talking just to hear myself talk, you're mistaken. But, Miss Purcell, it's not like you think. Well, you think... I'm not going to sit back and let you get Harry drunk night after night. I know how to fix you. I'm going to get you off his back if I have to go all the way to Washington to do it. You picked on the wrong party, mister, the wrong party. And you're going to find yourself in plenty of trouble tomorrow. Plenty. Come on, Harry. But, Harry? Mr. Persia? Harry? Mr. Persia? There you go. Harry? Harry! Mr. disappeared again. And it's your fault. But, Miss Persia, I didn't have... Sweetheart! 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 Harry, where did you go? What did you do to him? You can't, none of you keep your hands off him, can you? Come on, Harry, I'll get you away from these bums. And you get out of here. You're in plenty of trouble, mister. Plenty. Come on, Harry. Ah, go to sleep. Oh. Yes, ma'am, what can I do for you? Are you Sergeant Carter? That's right. Well, I'm Mrs. Purcell, Mrs. Harry Purcell. Yes, ma'am. Sergeant, you're going to have to do something about one of the men in your outfit. One of my men? Which one? Well, his name is Gomer Pyle, and if you don't do something, I will. Pyle? What'd he do? He's been getting my husband drunk every night. That's what he's been doing, and Harry doesn't drink. Pyle? I don't know where he met my husband or how, but he's attached himself like a leech. And he's been using poor Harry for a drinking buddy, and Harry doesn't drink. Gomer Pyle, are you sure you have the right fella? I got the right fellow, all right. Tall and skinny with a stupid look on his face. That's Pyle, all right. Uh, but it's... Two nights in a row, he brought poor Harry home drunk. And Harry doesn't drink. But Pyle? I can't believe it. Are you calling me a liar? No, 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 no. I mean, uh, just as far as I know, Pyle doesn't even drink. Doesn't drink? <laughs> That's a laugh. I wish you could have seen him in my living room. Clothes all wrinkled, couldn't even stand up straight. Really? And the two of them, out on the street at midnight, singing at the top of their lungs. <laughs> Pyle doesn't drink. Harry doesn't drink. Well, I don't know what to say. I mean, I'll look into it. You keep him away from my husband, because if you don't, I'm going to go to your colonel. Oh, uh, well, don't do that. I'm not a troublemaker. But when I get mad, Sergeant Carter, you better watch out. Maybe you don't care about this Gomer pile, but I care about Harry, and Harry doesn't drink. <laughs> what do you mean? I know. He was the guy who came to the fence asking for you, right, Pyle? Oh, yes, Sarge, that's right. Ah, uh -huh. and when you guys were having dinner last night, there was a little drinking done, right? And then when you took him home, there was a little singing in front of his house? I'm afraid so, Sergeant, and I feel real bad about that. I mean, waking up the neighbors and all. Now, you listen to me, Pyle. You stay away from that guy, you understand? Well, yes, Sergeant. I don't Sergeant. care what a great guy he is or how much fun he is. You stay away from him. His wife is threatening to go to the colonel, and I'm not getting into trouble on account of you. You understand? Right, Sergeant. That's I'll... an order. You stay away from Harry Purcell. Two nights in a row, his wife says he's come home in the same condition. And Harry doesn't drink. <laughs> Mr. 
He's the one who's been getting my husband drunk every night. Where's Harry? What have you done with him? You mean Mr. Purcell? Why, he's... I know he's in town somewhere. He didn't come home for dinner tonight. He's around here somewhere. What'd you do? Leave him in an alley? Probably rolled him and left him in an alley. Well, your husband isn't actually with him. There's nothing we can do. We have no control over civilians. Oh, come on, Mr. Purcell. Oh, come no, on. No, Sergeant. I'm afraid you're on your own, Mrs. Purcell. We can't go looking for your husband unless there's military personnel involved. But he is involved. <laughs> well, he isn't now. Now you tell me, where is he? What have you done with him? Good. Driver Homer Gomer. There he is. Come on, come on. You're what too the... serious. I know it. It's you now, huh? You got him now, huh? Wait, wait, wait. One wait. bad influence and then the other. First the private and now the sergeant. Oh, it's like you're jumping to conclusions. Look what you did to him. Yeah, you well, got well, him so drunk he can hardly I stand up. Sir. I got him. Yeah. I was just trying to help out. Oh, Lady, there's sir. something you ought to know. Your husband's a sow. Now, what's why, you? First you get him drunk and then you insult him. First you put him in the He's drunk. He's drunk. And you right there in the middle of the street so i come looking for some help and are you kidding me no sergeant i saw a car stalled what do you want from me let him call a garage and get a tow truck but sergeant this well, what is this stupid desire of yours to get involved in other people's problems one night it's a drunk the next night it's a stalled car but sergeant i couldn't refuse you see this is oh you couldn't refuse come with me pal i'll show you how to refuse he couldn't refuse mr good samaritan here come on but sergeant Right there, Sergeant. Watch me, File. Just watch me and see how easy it is to refuse and not let everybody take advantage of you. Oh, hi. Are you going to help me, Sergeant? That's awfully sweet of you. Well, I... All it needs is a little push, and I'll be forever grateful, Sergeant. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Come on, push, push. 